Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build an Overwatch style main menu. Okay, so it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. The first things first is we need to basically set this up so it kind of looks like this. Okay, uh, so if you want to have a main menu uh, where let's say you have screenshots or uh, not necessarily a screenshot but like some of the level that you're building in there this is what you have to do so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just move this guy here rotate him something like this and I think this probably looks pretty good something like that yeah and maybe move him over just a little bit over here now obviously this would look really good is if we were, um, you know, if we had a different level. But nevertheless, you're going to get the idea from here. Okay, let's hop into our third person blueprint character here. And what we need to do is we need to go to uh, this character uh, or to this viewport here. And what we're going to do is we're going to move the camera over here, like so. And then I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees. There we go. And if we play that, we have it mostly correct here. You could probably make uh, you could probably make it really good, uh, just like this here. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this closer, move it to the side, and maybe move it down a bit, uh, something like that. So let's go ahead and yeah, we're getting there. So maybe move it up here, and maybe move it a little bit closer. We got to play around with it a bit, and you know we we want it a little bit. There we go. Okay, so so that's that's kind of what I'm going for. But the but there's a huge problem. If I click on it, I can still move around. So obviously that solves problem number one is situating the camera. Problem number two is we need to disable the input. Well, it's very easy to do. Let's go to our third person game mode here and right click and push event begin play. Okay, and within that we need to cast to third person character. And in that character, we're going to get player character. Okay. Very good stuff. Then we're going to disable input. Okay. Just like that here. Okay. So let's play it. And sure enough, everything's working out. Okay. Not too, it's not too complicated. Everything looks pretty good. Next up, we need to add in, uh, we need to add in a, um, a user interface and then a widget blueprint here okay and we're going to call this heads up display and let's open that up okay so first things first i'm going to add in some text here now if i were to make this an actual like for example make this an actual game here i would probably spend a lot of time um a lot of time with these specific fonts etc but for this purpose i'm simply just going to make uh <laughs> make just a simple one uh, here. So you can see here, in fact, I'm gonna, okay, just call it something, just like that, and then maybe move it down here, like so. And then what we would wanna do is add in some more text here. Change the size up to about that much, probably. And remember that if you were to do this, uh, what you would have to do uh, you know, if, if you were to, to actually make this, it would take a lot more time and finesse, but I'm just showing you the basics here. We'll say play, and, uh, you know, if I push, let's see, if I push, I'll just control C, control V, play, and then I'll do something along the lines of, you know, uh, find a game, or something along the lines of, you know, we got play, you can say league or something, and then maybe add in just one more here, 
and you know you can say play league characters okay and then here and one thing I'm also going to do is I'm also going to move this to 15 so that way we can make this a little bit easier all right and then I'm going to copy and paste this again so this time I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, just like the actual, something more like that. A little bit too much. Let's say 40. Okay. Move that down here. And we can say, you know, settings. We can say that this is, you know, in-app purchase. And I'm just making stuff up at this point. Okay. And then maybe one more. Move that down just a bit. Alright. And there we go. In fact, I'm actually going to make this 25. There we go. Just so that everything looks good. There we go down one down one there we go and I'm gonna take all of these move them down a bit move these guys over and then you know something like exit Okay, there we go. So this looks decent enough. Um, now, the next thing we need to do is once we begin play uh, and disable the input, we have to add, uh, let's create widgets. And what widget is that going to be? It's going to be the heads up display. And then we're going to add to viewport. There you go. Okay, so let's run that. And there you go. That's pretty much what it is. And if you look at that, uh, we now have uh, basically a Overwatch screen uh, made in Unreal. So there you go. All right. So thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. As of this video, this channel is not monetized. So getting us up to 4,000 watch hours is really important to us. So please like and subscribe. And please share this on the Reddit and, and uh, Unreal forums. It really does help us out when you when you uh, show up, uh, send these videos there. It really does help us out. Also, this channel doesn't do a Patreon. It says we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the products that you buy below, the more content we can make. And it really does help us out when you buy these products. It helps us make not only more uh, YouTube videos here, but it also makes us, uh, makes us able to make a lot of really awesome e-learning content. We release 20, 60 hours of fresh new content per month. And if you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Math Interactive's huge library of content. Uh, we have monthly and yearly options. It really does help us out, especially when you subscribe for the yearly options. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.